Okay, I'm, I'm making this tutorial. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up to the um, uh, Blender rigging tutorial that I did in the past uh, because some people are having some issues and some questions and I want to clear a few things up and just mention a few uh, things about rigging. If there's time, we'll go over some of the differences between rigging in the new version uh, 2.5 version of Blender as opposed to uh, 2.4, the original tutorial is made in. Okay, and... Uh, the first thing, people are having issue with the tutorial that I made before, and I have to be blunt and honest with the main reason that you're having these issues. Okay, pay attention, you're not paying attention, you're just kind of going through and as soon as you see something happen on screen, you're trying to go ahead and jump into it without actually watching what's going on. Okay, the biggest problem that people have is they don't understand the fact that there's these three different modes here. Let me maximize my 3D screen here by hitting Shift Space. Okay, and you'll see that with my uh, armature selected here, there are three different modes. There's the object mode, the edit mode, and the pose mode. Okay, you need these in order to be able to add new objects, object mode, edit the objects you've added, which is pose mode, or I'm sorry, edit mode, and then finally animate the armature itself which is the pose mode okay object mode add and move around block out your your objects in 3d space edit mode actually edit the actual uh, joints and add and remove bones and finally pose mode to do the actual animation and also you'll need the pose mode in order to do the weight painting which I showed you how to do in an earlier tutorial Okay, people were trying to, for example, in object mode, they weren't really watching what the video said, and they were adding new bones, and then they were trying to figure out, well, why do I have all these bones and they're not related? These are actually, if you add different bones in object mode, or I'll add another one, Okay, these are all entirely separate armatures for entirely separate, uh, you know, skeletons. All right, these are entirely separate objects. You can join them together. You can uh, get a couple of these guys and hit Control J, join them. All right, now now they're part of the same object, but um, you know your best bet is definitely. Let me delete these your best bet is to add one bone and then go into edit mode okay and then start for example extruding and duplicating your bones and moving the joints into place uh, fixing the bone roll rotations and then you know maybe renaming them you although you can rename the bones at any point all right so that's the purpose of the the edit mode is to actually edit the skeleton and add and create bones and you want them all all the bones to be part of one armature all right so we'll go back to this the uh, and again the final thing once you've edited everything and parented your mesh to it and started painting your weights then when you're finally ready to go go into pose mode and pose mode is where you actually can rotate the bones and animate them as you can see the mesh is now moving with it if I'm in uh, edit mode you'll see that the uh, the results are different okay it has to be this way in order for you to be able to add objects edit the objects and animate the objects in the same space without going into a different environment. All right, you need these modes in order to tell what's going on. And if you look at the um, panel down here, the uh, the armature panel, when we go into the different modes, I'm sorry, the bone panel, you'll see the options change as we go into the different modes. Okay, and so Blender's smart enough to know that um, you know when we're in certain modes, certain options should be available to you. All right. Uh, the other thing to note is put this into pose mode. Yeah, it is. Uh, the other thing to note is that Blender remembers the state of each armature separately. So this armature controlling the man is in pose mode. Okay, it's ready to be animated. 
this armature we were working on before is in object mode. Okay, so in the object mode, all you can do is move the entire armature around in 3D space. All right? And as you can see, the options are different here. So it's easy sometimes to get confused because you switch to this one in pose mode. Now you're ready to animate this one over here, and this one's in object mode. And maybe if you're not familiar with Blender, the options change down here and you get a little bit confused. Okay, just remember that the modes are different for each skeleton, which can be very handy in, in a way because, um, well, you know, each one has its own little space available to it. All right, so that's the main thing. Um, let's, let me, well, let me move this one off to the side. Okay, let's go back to this one. Let's go into edit mode. 